I am Indo-Jamaican, not brown enough to be Indian, not black enough to be Jamaican. Telling people where I'm from is always a game of trying to validate my identity. It didn't seem to matter where I felt most connected. My identity was always dissected. I didn't act Indian enough. I didn't look Jamaican enough. But I am Indo-Jamaican and I've come to accept, even if you don't, that there are pieces of me in two different nations and I will never fit to your expectations. I come from doll and the jingle jangle of bangles. I come from cocoa and stew peas. So please, my identity doesn't fit neatly into one box of an employment equity section. I am Indo-Jamaican because in 1882, a pregnant woman started anew carrying a baby who would be born at sea and carrying a legacy that would trickle down to me. I am Indo-Jamaican, and honestly and truly, it's never been cool for you to call me Cooley. Cooley is a contract signed with a thumbprint. Cooley is a shilling a day. Cooley is a hopeless sugarcane plantation. It's labor or a slave after translation, so I'm sorry that I don't show gratitude when you allude to indentured servitude. I am Indo-Jamaican, a kaleidoscope of heritage that not everyone understands, but our ancestors were laborers, merchants, and jewelers. And today, we are queens and culture-rich rulers.